Hello there, welcome to our channel. So today we are going to talk about Xperia 10 Mark III. But before that, I'm afraid I got some bad news. It's not regarding Sony, but LG. Yes, LG has officially pulled out of the smartphone business and will no longer produce and sell new smartphones. They made some of the iconic smartphones of our time, such as the Nexus 4, Nexus 5, Nexus 5X. LG also made Google's Pixel 2 XL. They were the first OEM to introduce an ultra wide angle camera on a mobile phone and one of the very few OEMs who still provide features like quad DAC and powerful stereo speakers. Not to mention their Explorer project which introduced phones such as LG Wing which gave a whole new perspective of how different each phone could be. LG was never afraid to try something different and bold and kept on experimenting with new concepts and form factors. We are really gonna miss them. But let's not dwell on that and continue with Sony Xperia 10 Mark III. Well, as you are aware, Sony will host a digital press conference on April 14th where they will introduce several products. One of them could be the phone which we are gonna talk about. There is no official confirmation from Sony yet, so there is no way to confirm details. But here are some of the leaks and rumors for Xperia 10 Mark III. Well, design wise, as you can see from the renders, it's virtually indistinguishable. It's a little shorter and narrower than the Xperia 10 Mark II but 0.1mm thicker as well. It's set to come with a 6-inch Full HD Plus 21-9 OLED panel with no information regarding high refresh rate. You will also find dual front-facing speakers. On the back, it's set to house the triple camera setup with a 12MP main unit, an 8MP ultra-wide and an 8MP telephoto. There's 3.5mm audio jack and a side-mounted fingerprint scanner which also acts as a power button. Powering this handset will be the Qualcomm's Snapdragon 690 5G chipset. This processor only supports sub 6GHz. Qualcomm didn't decide to include MMWave support for the 690 that will remain on higher-end 7 series and 8 series 5G chipset for now. This phone is also set to come with IP rating of either 68 or 65 and of course with the latest Android 11 OS. Hopefully, it won't be too long until Sony gives us more concrete information regarding its latest addition to the Xperia 10 range. Until then, subscribe. Thank you for watching. Peace out.